So I get asked this question all the time. Uh, if I'm a smaller person or a person with shorter legs or you're mounting against a bigger person, we need to make some adjustments for the mount to be able to be more stable. So watch what I do. You tend to be a smaller, shorter person that's mounting on a bigger person, right? Anytime I can't get my knees, both knees on the ground. So I have both knees on the ground. This is not bad, right? That Because I have both my knees on the ground. But also what I feel is my hips are connected to his hips, okay? So this is really important for the most part. Anytime you're sitting up from the mount, you don't want your hips connected to your opponent's hips. Look what happens when your hips are connected to your opponent's hips. And that's not good for me. Because think about how powerful the hips are, right? If you think about like the deadlift, right? That's just a hip, ex a very explosive hip movement, right? How much weight, how much power can you generate with that movement? So if I'm mounting here and he just starts bucking and bucking and bucking, it's like me riding a Bronco, right? I don't wanna be, I don't wanna have to deal with that when I'm mounting, okay? So what I'll do is I will transition to what we call so that little adjustment of putting my leg up on one side while still keeping my heel tight and my knee tight allows me to still grab him with my legs, but also I'm not giving him any space to kind of get his hands inside. So that's really important that my legs are kind of all clamping tight on his body so I can kind of control him and I can maintain my position while also not giving him much space. Some people call it modified mount, technical mount. I call it more of like a side mount position, okay? Where I'm basically putting one leg up Okay. But again, my heel is tight and my leg is tight. And again, I can put my hands on the ground. There's no, there's no uh, problem with me putting my hands around. But the idea is just slowly lift your hip. So watch this. This makes a big difference. When he tries to lift his hip and I'm more in a kind of a modified mount or technical mount, I call, call this position side mount where I have one knee on the ground and one knee up, my other foot's on the ground. Uh, look at the difference in how much his hip movement or the bumping of his hip, the lifting of his hip, affects my balance. Feel the difference in the connection here uh -huh. as opposed to, yes. So you see if I'm sitting on him, if he lifts his hips, our hips are connected and he can really start to buck me around and start to get my weight, throwing my weight forward, and he can start to kind of use that against me. So I never wanna allow uh, my opponent to be able to just toss my weight around with his hips. That makes sense. So, for those of you guys that are smaller, okay, and you're dealing with, and you mount on someone bigger, right? I'll just pick a side. And what I do with my leg again, because I want to be, I'm constantly grabbing him with my legs, right? Is my heel is biting, and I'm pinching. So, so that's really important. Heel tight, knee tight. I can have one knee on the ground, and my other foot's connected to the ground, but I'm always grabbing him with my legs.